Hey guys, it's Jessie the Dirt Bike Girl, and let's watch me crash and burn on a hill. But first, this is the hill in question, and the first time we go up it, we take the easy route. Up the outside, it's a little tight through here, and I've been working on stopping on hills and going, getting my feet down on the side I can get my foot down, and trying not to stall my bike. So I went through here real slowly. I did stall, but... I kept trying to go through real slow. Remember, slow is much more difficult than carrying speed. And I wanted to just try and control the bike and myself. So, made it through there successfully. Check on one goal done. But the next time I come around, I want to try a more difficult route. My dad did it first to show me how to get over this route. And I have just a small section I have to hit perfectly. And so here's my attempt, first attempt at it. And we're gonna analyze it and break it down on everything I did wrong so you don't make the same mistakes. You can see I don't have a lot of speed and I'm wobbly to begin with because I'm not carrying very much speed. These bikes like speed. So let's watch it in slow-mo. Rocks throw me off. Then I'm pointed at the wrong area. So I should be hitting right there. But where I really hit is right there. And we should be hitting roots head on. And I knew my mistake. I let off the gas, which was another big mistake. Rolled down the hill. Now I got to get my bike up. And I'm going to make the choice instead of just picking it up and going right back up the hill that I am going to go down the hill and try again. So lots of mistakes there. Carrying speed, these bikes like moving. It keeps them upright. When I went to go put my foot down, I put my foot down on the low side. Us short people, we've got to always put our foot down on the high side, but my left leg's my weaker leg, and I know when I get home, I need to work on strengthening that leg. Um, my next mistake was I had one spot I was supposed to hit. So what was I looking at? I was looking at the spot I wasn't supposed to hit. And where did I hit? Right there, the spot I wasn't supposed to hit. Big mistake on my part. So I'm... I know these things and I am going to learn from my mistake. Now a couple of things that I know right off the bat is once I finally get this bike off this hill, I'm going to be worn out. And the last thing I want to do is try this again when I don't have enough energy to do it properly. I'm just going to crash again, have to pick up my bike again, and that's a mistake. It's going to just wreck my confidence totally. So what I do instead is get my bike up, go back down the hill, pick a more difficult line, but one I can handle, that I know I can get up. Build that confidence back up again. And that's so important. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I bump started my bike a little bit going down this hill and it surprised me. But anyway, so I get back down get myself back turned around and I'm just wrecked. It was super humid out. So I've picked a new line to try and go at. And this one's a little harder than my first line, but easier than my second line. And I'm gonna make another mistake. Again, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go really slow. I'm not real focused. And it's gonna have consequences. And it's totally going to wreck my confidence on this uphill. But I am going to come back. The GoPro unf unfortunately died. But I am going to come back and later on, once I've rested, got some water and ate something, energized again, so that I can do this all again. So I'm going to go all the way to the right. Then I'm going to turn to the left. And again, momentum is what I need. Momentum is not what I have. I underestimate what I'm about to do. I do it way too slow. I'm in first gear. I should be in second. Well, let's watch. Here we go. 
I make this turn and there's a root and I just don't have any momentum to get over it. I'm too tired to even try and I just let the bike drop instead of letting myself get hurt. At this point, I make an important decision. Know when to stop, guys. Come back and try it later. I've got to pick up this bike for the second time on a hill. I'm going to dog walk it up the hill a couple of feet. And practice this, guys, because it comes in handy on hills. I'm going to go ahead and just get it up, get myself back together, and come back at it when I'm fresh. Now, my dad warns me that when I come around this right-hander to stay all the way to the right because there's a little something coming up. And I totally get in my head about it, even though it's something super easy that I should have no problem with. So you're going to see, like, <laughs> I'm just worn out right now. When I come around this corner, you're just going to be able to tell I'm in my head. I'm not going fast enough. Same problems I had at the bottom. And this is an easy obstacle. I should have been able to do it. No problem. So learning from my mistakes. When you go to do something, commit to it. Go for it. Don't let your head get in the way. You can do it. Keep up your momentum. That's very important. And learn from your mistakes. Don't overdo it. And remember, if you're having a bad day, it's only one down and the rest is up. It does get better, guys. Just keep practicing. Everybody have a good day and stay safe out there.